This is the ISO test case related to the thermal bridges in the building construction. You can see this is the corner of the building. The wall consists of three layers. It's made of the aerated concrete. Then there is the insulation layer. And then there is the brick on the external surface. On the external su surface there is the brick. Below you can see the first floor and the temperature in the first floor is 20 degrees and this is the second floor and temperature, the air temperature on the second floor is 15 degrees. Outside the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. On the right you can see that there is no breach in the insulation layer. The entire wall is insulated. But here on the left you can see that the insulation is breached by the floor slab. So the floor slab is the thermal bridge. The thermal flux will flow along this slip to the external surface. Our task is to calculate the flux value, the thermal flux value, and the temperature in the most cold points. The most cold points here are this corner and the symmetric corner on the first floor. There are more tasks described in the ISO. You can also calculate the thermal coupling coefficients, but in this simple simulation we will only calculate the temperature distribution. Now let's start quick field. Let me show you the problem properties. This is the steady state heat transfer problem and the model class is 3D extrusion. Three dimensional extrusion. Now let's take a look at the geometry model. Oop. You see that the geometry model looks plain. It looks like two dimensional. Now how to construct the three dimensional extrusion model from this plain model? In fact, that's simple. You should only assign levels for each object. I will change the units to centimeters. So this is the balcony slab. That slab that is located outside our wall. And this balcony slab has two levels, zero level and 15 centimeters level. This object represents the floor in the building and it has three levels. Zero, from zero to 15 centimeters it is the slab and from 15 50 to 20 centimeters, it is the plaster. You can see this is the plaster.
and to build the this wall again I assign levels from 0 to 15 this is this this lab and from 15 to 150 it's the wall now let's take a look how the three-dimensional model looks like I press the button to convert this two-dimensional model with levels to the three-dimensional model Here it is. You see, I assigned zero level and 15 centimeters level and get the slab. Here I assign zero, 15 centimeters and 20 centimeters to get the slab and the plaster level. And here I get the slab and the wall. Now you should assign labels and do it in the three-dimensional view. Again, you should select the object and type in the label here. In fact, all labels are already assigned in this geometry model. And I will just show you what we have here. This is this lab. You see here, it doesn't penetrate, but here it penetrates the insulation layer. Now this is the plaster layer. This is the insulation layer. This is the aerated concrete and outside the wall there is the brick. Now let's take a look at the boundary conditions. On the first floor, on the first floor I specified the convection coefficient. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, and this is the convection coefficient. Again, you see quick yield supports the equations. On the, secondary, on the second floor, the temperature is 15 degrees, so it's 15 degrees Celsius, and the convection coefficient is the same. Outside, outside the temperature is zero degrees, and this is the convection coefficient. Now we have warm thirst in the second floor and cold outside, and the slab that penetrates the insulation. Now let's build the finite element mesh. You see now this is the three-dimensional elements. And run the simulation. I will solve this problem again to show you the speed of quick field. Here are the simulation results. And now I can measure the temperature in the most cold point on the first floor and on the second floor. This is the temperature 
on the first floor. And this is the temperature on the second floor. There are many ways you can adjust the field picture. For example, I will switch on the vectors of the thermal flux. And here we will see how the flux flows in the slab and in the wall. You can use the cut plane to take a look what the field distribution is inside the wall and make the, the two-dimensional section. But we will move to the next example.